In this video, we are discussing example of MapReduce program and here we have considered the program of word count. That is a hello world program we can consider in our MapReduce. So, let us discuss this implementation or this particular program execution step by step and this video is associated with one practical demonstration for your easy understanding. So, let us start with the discussion that is example of MapReduce program. The practical demonstration of word count problem. To run a MapReduce program, we need to start the Hadoop demons first. So, please initialize the Hadoop demons so that it can you can run this MapReduce program under it. Create a copy a file into the SDFS and put the file inside a separate directory. In this case, we are considering slash input directory. So, here we are having one file on which this MapReduce program will be working. The MapReduce will create another directory. In this case, it will be slash output. We have mentioned this one, you can change it. And in that directory, there will be a part file and the file will hold the final MapReduce program output. So, in the output directory, the file will be there, which is a part file containing the output of the MapReduce program. And in the input folder, we will be having our respective file on which the map, MapReduce program will be working on that. And for that purpose, you are supposed to use the put command to put the file from the, from the Unix system to the SDFS. The word count program is one of the default programs and that comes with Hadoop itself. And we can use the jar file to execute the MapReduce task accordingly. The syntax of using the jar file to start the MapReduce task will be like this. So, Hadoop, jar, jar path, class name and the respective parameters. In this case, the parameters are the input and the output directories are to be mentioned in this particular command. So, let us go for one practical demonstration for the easy understanding of this concept. Whenever we install Hadoop, always you know that Hadoop comes with the default uh, one MapReduce program, one uh, on the word count. So, this uh, word count program we are going to execute right now. We can show you that how this particular word count program can get executed. It comes with the Hadoop by default automatically. So, in that case, we are opening one terminal here. So, Ctrl Alt T. This is a terminal we are having. We are going for echo dollar home to show you the corresponding value of this variable system variable that is the home. So, there is a slash home slash big data. So, echo dollar Hadoop install. So, this particular variable is having the value the path is slash home slash big data slash Hadoop. So, remember this one. So, now what we are trying to do is that uh, we shall execute our WordCon program on a on a certain file. So, now here I am going to show you the file here. See, I am just going to show you the file. So, I am just opening this one. So, I am at the home. Home means in which path? That is a slash home slash big data. So, that is a home. So, under this home, we are having uh, Hadoop my files. And under this Hadoop my files, we are having this student underscore info dot csv and also sample underscore file dot txt. So, we shall execute our uh, MapReduce uh, WordCon program on this sample underscore file dot txt. Okay, so we'll be executing on it. So let me see the content of it. So we shall go for echo. We shall go for cat rather. So cat, we can go for that is our home. We can write this home in this way, putting a dollar in front. We can go for home, and then slash. There is a Hadoop. My files, and the name of the file is sample file.txt okay so that is the way we have seen the content of the file you see the same command can also be written in this way the same command instead of writing this home we can also put tilde symbol here so that will also do the same otherwise we can write into details that is a slash home big data so that is another way to get the same file content. So, this is the content on which my what count MapReduce program will be working. Now, let me tell you where this particular MapReduce program is uh, is residing here. So, in that case, I shall come to home, then I shall come to Hadoop, 
remember this path home hadoop then i shall go for share home hadoop share hadoop again map reduce so home hadoop share hadoop map reduce so here you can see at the end we are having one file one jar file so there's a hadoop hyphen map reduce hyphen examples hyphen 2.4.1 dot jar so this particular jar is actually containing the word count class so let me show you that one also so if i if i explore this one we are going to coming to org then apache then hadoop then examples so here you can go for this word count so there's a word count dot class so this class we are going to execute okay so that is our purpose now let me do one thing so that is my path here so i'm minimizing this one okay we shall create one folder onto this sdfs we shall create one folder on this sdfs so let it be say my output okay so you see the folder is not there the folder is not there uh, let it be my output and in that in that my output will be putting that uh, sample file dot uh, txt so in the sdfs so how to do that one so at first let me create one folder at first so how to create the folder so sdfs dfs minus mkdir slash in the root of the fd uh, sdfs we're going to create say my input we're creating one folder say my input enter let me check uh, whether the folder has got created or not yes the folder my input has got created but the folder is empty but the folder is empty so let me copy let me copy that sample uh, that is a sample file dot txt there so i shall go for sdfs dfs minus put dfs minus put slash home slash big data instead of that i can easily write the respective tilde symbol or dollar capital letters home so that can also be written so how do my files so how do my files and then uh, we shall go for say sample file dot txt so this file we have copied and now we shall put it into this my my input i think it is my input yes so so from this local uh, file system the file that is a sample underscore file dot txt is going to get copied onto the hadoop file system so i'm just pressing enter okay let me check yes the sample underscore file dot txt initially it was a void now it, this particular file has got copied there okay so we have done it now we shall execute the jar i think you can remember the path also so now we shall execute the jar now okay so how to execute the jar so i think the we have put the file now we shall go for the jar so we are, we are going to run the uh, map reduce jar file and the jar file is located as at say uh, dollar hadoop install share hadoop map reduce and the file name is hadoop hyphen map reduce hyphen examples hyphen 2.4.1 dot jar okay so let me go for that so i'm going for hadoop hadoop jar i'm just executing this code now hadoop jar so dollar hadoop underscore install you know that uh, instead of typing this dollar uh, hadoop underscore install we can also type slash home slash big data slash hadoop so that is a there is a folder so now we are going for dollar this and then we shall go for share then we should go for say uh, after share we're having this hadoop then map reduce then we are having the jar file name so hadoop hyphen map reduce so in that case we shall go for examples then 2.4.1 dot jar so there is a jar path we have given now not only this we are also supposed to mention the what count there is a class name so what count and from where it should read so there is a my input from the sdfs it is my input so from there the respective file will be read and i'm going to uh, make one output folder it will be created automatically say my output so my input and then my output okay so now we are going for this enter not a valid jar it is telling that it is not a valid jar okay let me tell uh, let me check what the, what is the problem so let me go for this 
uh, Hadoop jar slash Hadoop install share then Hadoop map reduce Hadoop hyphen map reduce examples I think is it is examples there is a 2.4.2.4.1 I think it should be one yes so there is a what count and my input and my output okay so now let me go for enter okay so let me check whether the my input is always there it is already there now let us go for my out output yes my output has got created and this my output is having a file that is a part hyphen r hyphen five zeros okay so this file is actually containing the the output so let me let me execute that one okay I'm going for the clear so now uh, I want to have this so let me see the path also so how to see how to print that one because it is in the uh, Hadoop file system so I should go for HDFS DFS and then we shall go for the cat the cat is a command and the path is uh, my output the path is my output and slash part minus r minus five times zeros otherwise i can also use wildcard characters need not to type everything in full okay. we're having this output so sdfs dfs minus cat minus file output slash part hyphen r hyphen five zeros so this is the respective output i'm getting here so instead of typing full also i can go for say wildcard character not mentioning everything into details so that can also work here so in this way in this demonstration we have shown you that how to run the map reduce what program uh, from the jar calling the respective class giving the input file in a certain folder and mentioning the output folder where the output will be dumped and what are the sequence of steps we are supposed to do we have de demonstrated everything into details I think it will clear it has cleared your conception thanks for watching this video